if you guys look at it, we have, now we have a function, f of x equals x squared minus 3. So there's three, remember we talked about our four functions. You guys have to know these by name and know what their parent graph looks like. We have the constant function, the identity function, the absolute value function, which we just did, and then we have the quadratic function. So which function is this right up? Yes, quadratic. it's the quadratic function. So you guys need to know the quadratic because it has the, yeah, that a quadratic function is the high degree of 2. Now the next thing you need to know, not just about a quadratic, but you guys need to know that the quadratic goes through these points. Okay. So it's helpful to know, ladies and gentlemen, that the quadratic is a U-shape. It's not the V like the absolute value, but it's kind of like what we call a U-shape, which we call a parabola. And then also, the important point, it goes through the points 1, 1, and then 2, 4. That's like the shape that it goes through. If you guys want to do a table of them, you can. All right? But for right now, all we're concerned about is actually just paying attention, Yago, so we can do this. That's all we're really concerned about right now. So we have f of x equals x squared minus 3. So we're going to use this quad, we're going to use the function. Well, what we need to do is determine what does the minus 3 talk about? We talked about the negative sign, right? That was talking about reflections. If it was inside, that means it reflected the y. When the negative sign was outside, that reflected the x, correct? Well, the negative 3, there's a big difference. We need to determine is this inside or outside the function? And this is? Outside. What would it look like if it was inside? It would be inside the parentheses like that. That would be inside. No, it's inside the parentheses right now. And now it's outside. Okay. You mean like this? Yeah. Sure. Okay. But, it, all right, yes, all right, I understand what you're saying. Okay, so you put parentheses around there. Is, are the parentheses doing anything for us, though? No, so it's the mute point. It's like putting, it's like putting plus zero. It's not changing the problem. What I'm trying to tell you is, what is our function? Yeah. X is, right, but I'm saying x squared is our function. So is, is minus 3 inside of the x squared? Yeah. No. No, it's not. It's inside the x squared right here, but it's not here. So you can put parentheses if you want to, but Hester, it's not going to change if it's inside the function. Well, because the, the square is outside. Right. That's, that's what I'm trying to get. So, ladies and gentlemen, what we look at is we say, all right, so now we know it's outside. What is the difference if I take my graph and I add or subtract a number where k is a number? All right, so if I add or subtract any number, what is it going to do? So do you guys remember when you add a number outside your function, what does it do, Chris? You know? What does it do to your graph? What does it do to your transformation? It does no? Well, that's where we already know the graph looks like this. But if I take my graph and now I add a number outside of it, because we determined it's outside, shift it. But where am I shifting? Right, left, up, down. Okay, so, ladies and gentlemen, yeah? How do you know if it goes left, right, up, or down? Okay, if you're going, if it's outside the function, that's going to tell you if you're going to shift it up or down. When it's inside the function, that tells you to shift left or right. We're going to do an inside one next. Yes? Uh, we'll talk about, when we get to an inside one, we'll talk about it. Right, so what I'm saying is, so now, what's our k in this problem? Hold on, Carter, what's our, pro what's our k in this problem? Negative 3. So we're going to shift up or down? We're going to shift down how many units? 3, because 3 is our k. So all I'm going to do, guys, is you take this graph and you go down 3. Then you go up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1, and then, I'm sorry, up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1, and up 2. Over 4. Over 2, up 4. And there's the graph. It's not beautiful, but it's there. Yes? Why is the U going up? Not going in the direction of the 
why does that graph look like that? Okay, um, we'll talk about that in another video. I'll show you that.